are you doing? I was the last two Christmas songs, Deck the Hall and Jingle Bell. Jingle Bell is pretty fun, right? And Deck the Hall, maybe it's okay. Now, today, we're going to learn We we'll Wish You a Merry Christmas. This is one of my favorite Christmas songs. With this song, we're going to learn new techniques. Use fingering, but it will be different from the, the other one that we learned last week. Now, let's see what kind of technique it is. Now, if you look at the score, it's pretty confusing. Oh, there's lots of sharps and what else? Lots of eighth note and quarter notes combinations. So rhythm is pretty confusing. But most confusing part is fingering. Let's start right hand first. What is the beginning note? G. number one and so that you can go up next to note and step to D and again eighth note one and then skip down to G and repeat and here you have to stretch your bar to E and again eighth note one one and here now the note is going down but you have to cross it over to finger number two to G. Do you see it? So from C2, going to like this. And step up, D, and here is F and B. But to play a smooth, hold it D until you push down D. That way, sound will be connected. Oh, somebody asked me, oh, do you use pedal? Your sounds are so connected because this kind of techniques is going to hold the, the sound connected so it sounds like you're using pedal. Also the next note from F to B and you move it to E and C instead of leaving like this, hold it the B and you move it down C like this. So if you're holding one note, at least one note, then the sound will be connected. It's just like you're using a pedal, okay? So if I show you one more time the same place, starting from the beginning of second line, C, A, and cross it over, step up, D, and here, hold it, and hold it for two. That's the very important technique. This is finger technique, very useful to play a chord when you connect the sound. Got it? Now, and then we have to repeat it again from the beginning, right after the G. Do you see the repeated sign? Have you ever seen the repeated sign at the beginning? Oh, uh -huh. yes, that means you have to repeat it. But when you repeat, you don't repeat from the G, but you repeat after. So if there is no sign at the beginning, then you have to go very beginning. But if they put the repeat signs wherever at the beginning, you have to start after the repeat sign. Got it? So G is first note. And after that, the next note is a C. So when you come back, you have to repeat from the C. That's what this sign means. Okay. Now, if we keep on going, the next note is C again. C, step up, down, down, down. And repeat to finger number one. D. Step down to G, two. And going up to E. One, one. C here, be careful. Cross it over. Four, one, two, and then move it to the next part. One, two, three. So this one is no way to connect it. You just need to kind of play it again. Two, three, and step down. And here also, don't play like this. 
this but connected. One, two, and then leave again. Step up, down, 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 two, and be ready. Now here is also another finger number that you have to be careful. From finger number two to same note, but one is going like this. Do you see it? easy but when you play it with your left hand it's kind of confusing so be careful with it and we'll move it on to the next one step up down down oh here is big jump to G but it's pretty far to go from finger number three to five I can barely reach but if your hand is small and you cannot reach that's fine you can just go leave it and go that's fine this part is okay and then big jump to next to G. So G to G. If your hand is small, then that's fine. Just leave it like this. That one is okay. And then the next note, the same G, but eighth note. So it goes faster. Got it? And step up. Up. Here is the same technique again. F and B. But hold it finger number five and go like this and then again the same place hold it B and slightly leave and go down the thumb like this and that way sound will be connected okay now so right hand is pretty easy since we know the melody line just we have to be careful with the fingerings now what about let's move it on to the left hand Left hand is basically one note at a time. So there is no chords and you have to count one, two, one, one, two, three. One, two, one, one, two, three. Kind of repetition. But it's really confusing if you play with your left, right hand together. Now let's see how it goes. Left hand starts from C. Number two, one. So you can go like this, or you can just leave. It really doesn't matter. This note, you can disconnect it. That's fine. But basically, I go holding it like this. Skip A, two, step down, down, two, step up to C, two, rest, and then. signs start with the A and then the next note is E and go to A again so this is basically playing A chord one 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 and then goes down to E again and B B and step down up and F sharp but with finger number one so it's kind of hard right because finger number one is short so you have to go inside of the key and play it. Make sure that you don't end up like this and hitting an F. So you have to be careful. That's the another part that you have to be careful with. So D, E, F. So as you play it, slide up like this. Instead of just driving forward. You just go. Do you see it? A little bit curved? Your left hand? And then this is another really important technique. Left hand. Slide it down to G, thumb. Do you see how I go? Instead of playing like this, don't pork it. Slide it down so that sound will be connected. Okay? And then the next note is skip up. But with finger number two, that one you can just disconnect and go. And next note is C, step down, down. And here is another 
finger number that you have to be careful with. Going down to G, but finger number one goes under. Uh huh. That's really important scales. Yes, we're gonna use a lot, especially in the scales. We're gonna learn later. But just remember, after the three, your finger number one has to go under. Step down. The second part, which is right after the repeat sign, that's kind of confusing. So this part you have to practice. And slide it down. One, two, and skip. Down here, go under. Self cover of times and play it both in together. Now let's go both in together. Find hand position. Ready? One, two. Right hand is, you have to hold it B to C, and left hand is slide it out, and you have to shift it to the next position. So you have to be careful with it. Now let's go a little faster. Ready? One, two. so that sounds like ending so when you play this song you have to remember two things 
cross it over and close down the fingerings and then slide it down the left hand and right hand is holding the notes to make it connected to sound which is really important technique to play chords if you do this technique well then it sounds like you are playing so beautiful without a pedal got it now i really hope you have a wonderful christmas and happy merry christmas and I will see you next time with Silent Night. And I hope you have a great time with this song. And I will see you next time. Bye.